right now? I'm actually just keeping the mosquitoes away. Citronella. But how cute does it look? The answer would be freaking adorable. Let's go inside because I think I might die. Okay, we're inside because there was a scary noise. Like, like that, but in the bushes. <laughs> and I don't like that. Only I can scare myself. If I scare myself, it's fine. But if something else scares me, I'm out of there. I've had a good week here in Spain, haven't we? We've been looking around the towns a little bit, but we've been staying mostly in the kind of foresty areas because I'm just living for the peace that the forests are bringing me. I feel like they've brought me back to life. It's like my soul has just like creeped back into my body after like bitch slapping me. Not gonna lie, I'm a little bit scared about the language barrier. I don't speak Spanish and that worries me, but you know what? I'm just gonna say that it's close enough to French that I'll just figure it out. All right, I found some gyoza. This was actually a gift from a friend. It's gonna come in super useful tonight, so thank you. It is pitch black outside. <laughs> it is so dark. I'm in the forest and it's been like really dark driving through it, as you saw from probably my brilliant montage at the beginning. Um, it was very majestic. Um, but it is so dark and like I can just hear the forest coming to life slowly well the animals hopefully the animals Gigi just keeps barking she's the worst at barking in the van honestly everyone's like yeah get a dog a dog will be like a good security guard no 99% of the stuff she barks at doesn't even exist at least not in this dimension <laughs> I mean who knows what she's barking at but I don't want to know she barks at everything Everything. That scares me. It scares me so much. You guys have seen her do it before in some of my previous videos. You know, and once she's barked and got the attention of the thing, the scary thing, she then runs up my leg and then just like hide over my shoulder and shake after she's like attracted the attention of it. So now it's my problem when before it was just ignoring me. And then once she's cooled it over, she like runs and hides. So I have to protect her. She's a right little shit. There's no other way to say it. She makes van life genuinely scarier for me. I'm getting all like the moths and stuff. I'm not getting any mosquitoes though. Cannot complain. Okay, they actually smell really weird. Bit of a problem. My window won't open. What? I think it's the heat. Do you think the heat's just like freaking sealed it shut? Are these done yet? Maybe they are. I don't really know. Ugh. I'm gonna go with yes because I don't want to wait any longer. Ha! 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 Why? Why? Why am I doing that? That's stupid. The struggle of solo travel will never cease. Like, see the back of my dress is undone? Okay, I can kind of get away with it. It's because I can't reach and I need someone to do it. And there is nobody. I just, I can't reach it. Like, my hand just... I can't do it! And it makes me so sad. Wow, oh, this worked so well. Oh, I don't have soy sauce. The other day, I came in the back of here after going to the shopping center. I was like, ah, you know, I'm just gonna go back to my van. What did I open the door to find? Soy sauce everywhere. My favorite t-shirt was in the bag underneath and it like fell into the bar. Basically, the soy sauce just ruined my van. Out of anger, it went in the bin. And now that's just backfiring because I don't have any. And it dyed my shoe. It dyed the end of my shoe. Can you see that? Okay, bad news. We're gonna have to go with the, the mango chutney. Oh. oh my God, I just heard something outside. I actually don't like staying in forests sometimes. Especially because this one's right next to the road. And it's like, what is hanging around outside? And my blinds are wide open. I'm 
Ну, музда. All right, I'm going to answer a question for this week. I have done quite a lot of serious ones recently, so let's go for a few light-hearted ones. One, apple juice or orange juice? Orange juice. I literally have one here. I drink it all day, every day. Debate it out in the comments, but I'm just saying the orange juice is superior. Yeah. Summer van life or winter van life? Good question. It's a really tricky one actually because I spend the whole of the winter bitching about how I wished it was warmer outside. Because in the winter, it's obviously rainy, it's muddy, there's like a lot more clothes, it's a lot more bulky, like you have thick coats and boots and like you wear several layers, which sucks in the van in winter. And oh god, it's just like it takes up so much space and all like the water and everything from rain or snow just like floods your van. It's a nightmare really, especially then when your wind, <laughs> when it's so cold that your windows like freeze on the inside and you have to like scrape the frost off and then it just all melts into your window seals and then your window seals you know start molding and it's just uh, not not an enjoyable experience but on the other hand summer van life is wonderful you can go in the water all day you can like park and have fun wherever because there's not mud and there's not rain and you're just free you you know you don't wear much so there's less stuff in the van, less stuff to wash, and you could leave the doors open, but oh my gosh, the heat will ruin your life. I always take being too cold over being too warm. So when it's like 38 degrees in the van, you cannot function. It is actually dangerous. It's so dangerous to stay in the van in the heat. The cold, not too bad. The heat, there's like no escaping it. And the mosquitoes. Oh, so many mosquitoes. I mean, honestly, I'm just gonna be awkward and say spring. What's my favorite color? Oh, it's raining. I used to like gold and black or emerald green, but I'm gonna say my favorite color is not to be stereotypical, but I like pink and I always have done because it is the scapegoated color. You know, you can't find a car in pink because nobody wants it. I want a car in pink. But that's never been an option, you know? You know, you wear pink and everyone's just like, it's a superior color. It just hits different. It's like saying, hi, I'm here. And I love that. Oh, all right. I am gonna go to sleep because it is beginning to rain and I think it's gonna be really cute in this friggin' moth. Okay, now good night. So like, this is the inside of my van. This is me opening the blind. Nothing. Dude, this is literally how dark it is right now. Like, I'm... <laughs> crazy. Okay, not to be dramatic, but I think I found the world's biggest slug. Look at the size of that. Relaxed right now. Oh, <laughs> wow. No, I need you to make my coffee. Oh my gosh, my inverter's just switched off. Go quicker. Okay, so that beeping is my inverter. Oh, it's just stopped. Um, because I'm in a forest, like my batteries haven't been charging and it's not sunny and. I don't really know why else, but I'm getting no solar, so this is like heaven. Oh, it's actually kind of chilly in here. It's actually cold. I'm going to put the stove on for a minute just to warm things through. That is the first time I have said that in months. <laughs> it's so cool. I'm so happy to be a little bit cooler 
It's literally made all the difference in the world. Okay, so I don't actually know where to go. There is a place called Pamplona near here and I want to visit it if we can get out of this forest because I'm a little bit scared. There's quite a lot of water everywhere. <laughs> I didn't know it was going to rain. So it would be fun to get out of. Okay, it doesn't look too bad. It's a little bit muddy in places, but I think I think we're gonna be fine. <laughs> right, we did. I think. Made it, thank God. Okay, I wanna go to Pamplona because I forgot that in Spain, there's the bull fighting and like the bull running with the bulls through the streets. My grandma who died, the one who inspired me to kind of do all of this, she used to love bulls, okay? You know, like the fat cows with the big, the big and the big, yeah, she used to love those. Literally, literally we used to like walk past a field or something and there would be a majestic big ass bull and she would just stop and just like look for the size of their bulls. She loved them and she and she loved the whole running with the bulls through the street. A few days ago they just had the bull running which kind of sucks because I would have loved to do that apart from I really would not have wanted to get gored which I probably might have done. It would have been really fun to see that but I didn't see it. a map with everything drawn on that I need where I want to go what's good there wow people really like to just cross here like you're just driving and then and then they just cross no slowing down what okay just need to find somewhere to park there's loads of signs I'm very confused what they mean a red circle a mark it, is that me? I, I don't know. Shit, I think I'm in a fucking bus lane. All right, we're going to find a parking space. Somewhere. Oh, there's a wedding, that's cute. Oh, the streets look insane. I just need to find somewhere to, to park. We're just so hard. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna do this. We're here. I'm not entirely sure. These spaces are green? I don't know what green means. So we're just gonna have to find out. But this is so close to where I want to be that I cannot give this parking space up. Let's try and find the town. Literally there. There is where we're going. Bingo. <laughs> Wow. 
Okay, although it is a very impressive statue. Very impressive. I'm honestly more proud of myself for finding something that I, that I wanted to see and I found it. This is just such a big day. That is perfect. There's an ice cube in this and like that was the weirdest experience to have like a hot coffee and then just like a lump of ice just I don't recommend that. I'm in a lovely square right now. There's like a pagoda thing in the middle. But all the shops are shut from 2 until 5 and it's like 3.30 right now, so I'm just waiting for the world to come alive again. I finally found cheesecake. Apparently it's a big thing over here that's got like kind of like a it's a different kind of recipe, it probably has milk in it, something, I'm not entirely sure. It is how it is, so I don't know, I got this. I think I prefer normal cheesecake, but you know, it's nice. It's actually more like, um, kind of like a creme caramel. Alright, I'm gonna finish this and head back to the van, because I'm a little nervous about the van. But, it's nice here, I really like it. Wait, I have to show you this, I have to show you this. Maria Chilan. <sighs> I've seen everything. Oh, and Gloria is still here. What a day to be alive. This has been great. The mariachi band. I've never seen one. That, I'm so happy. I also bought um, these khakis. I spent my whole life watching TV, where American TV, where there's always tackies. I've wanted to try one so badly. Interesting. Verdict, I like them. Good snap, but not as good as I thought they were gonna be. I thought they were gonna be like tangier. But I'm overjoyed by that experience. Same as the mariachi band. Same as the little Spanish streets. Same as my little ball that I bought. Are you ready? It's my new dashboard buddy. He's gonna be with us from now on, all right? Look at that. Look at that badass, look at that. Look at that right baddie. Oh, anyway, I can't believe Gloria was allowed to be here. You know, I was really becoming one of the locals. <laughs> I'm pretty much a Spanish motherfucker now. You know, I've been throwing around the seas, the, the gracias, the, the por favor, the, the buenos dias. I have been throwing my, I've been giving my A game to Spain today and they have been lapping it up. I am pretty much Spanish now, and I love it. I will see you next week. I hope you like this. Let me know. 